Okay, we're in 3ds Max. We're going to take a look at building a cloud with the atmospheric apparatus. So I'm in the Create menu, and we're going to go over to our helpers. In the helpers, we're going to change out of the standard and go to Atmospheric Apparatus. There are three different shapes we can choose. Any of these are fine. You're just going to try to pull the object off the sides. So I'm going to use the box. It's probably a little bit easier with the sphere, but that's fine. We'll just use the box. So I have my atmospheric apparatus. I'm going to go into the modifier tab with my box gizmo selected. We're going to come down to atmosphere and effects and I'm going to click add. You can use either one. Um, you just have to change the color of the fire, but I'm going to use the volume fog for this. And then we're going to go up under render and go to the environment. You can also hit eight. Once I have this open, you'll see we have the fog effect. So that volume fog I put on. If you set up the atmospheric apparatus and you did not apply the fog there, you could just click add, pick gizmo, and then pick the gizmo. Now that we have our gizmo, we're going to come down into the settings and take a look at them. So we're just going to pull a quick render, and this is what we're getting by default. And just one note, if you delete the atmospheric apparatus and you don't delete the fog, it's going to fill your scene. So if you later go back and don't know why there's a big fog, just go back in and delete it. Okay, so we have a, a default little fog shape in this box. And what I want to do is I want to make multiples of this box to build my cloud, but I want to pull this off of the side so we don't have edges. So again, I could start with the sphere. Um, atmospheric as apparatus gizmo, but we'll just use this one. So let's take a look at some of these settings. So we have our density, and I'm going to increase the density, so I'll double it to 40. And when we do this, we're going to get a much brighter cloud. Let me go to fractal and see if that's... I'll take turbulent real quick and see if, yeah, we're getting it here. So in Turbulent, you'll see we're kind of getting this blown out area. I'm just going to zoom in a bit. And when we get that, we can turn on this exponential, and then this will kind of clamp that down. So that's what that little tab is for. Um, again, you can just play around with this and, until you get a shape that works for you for a cloud. We can start with our regular, our fractal, or our turbulent. And as you go through, if things don't look right, you can just make adjustments. So we have um, our scale. So the size down here is going to affect our size of our puffs. So we're at 20. I'm going to go down to 5 and take a look at that. And you'll see we get much smaller little puffs inside of the atmospheric apparatus. But by doing that, it's clear that we're in a box shape. So I may want to go up further. I'm going to go 40, which I feel is too big. Um, we started at 20, so maybe 25 or 30 will give us a nice puffy cloud. And then here are levels. So again, this is our complexity, how many shades we have between our black and white. So we go down to 1, getting a lot less complexity. If we go up to 6, we're getting more degrees of, of black to white in this. So it's just a matter of going to different angles and seeing what you're getting um, and playing around with your settings until you get something that you want. So it's going to be a lot of give or take. I'm going to bring this back down to 20. We're not as bright. We can try fractal. It seems to be larger when you're in fractal, so you might want to reduce your size. And when you're in turbulent, it's smaller, so you will increase your size. You know, it's just playing with this. What I tend to do is just adjust this threshold and pull it in. So the closer these are, the it's a little hard to see from this angle. The closer these are, let's pull this back up to one. the more or the less we're going to see of this cloud body. 
So if I bring this down to five and I bring this up to four, I don't see anything. Excuse me. If I bring this down to 0.5 and I bring this up to 0.4, we get a lot less of the cloud puffs. They're not necessarily off the edges though, so just keep that in mind. So we're just going to play with this until we find something that doesn't feel like a box anymore and feels like I can build enough of a cloud shape. So maybe I want to go up a little on the size. Try down a little on the size. That looks better. I, I like that. We have one little puff. It is a little close to the edge here. Let's pull our levels down. It's too far. Go to five. Getting a little bit of puffiness. Um, we can play around uniform and or. But I'm just gonna pull this up a bit. Add a bit more to see if we can get a little bit more cloud into the volume. There we go. That'll work. And I'll just take this and duplicate the atmospheric apparatus. So I'm going to hold down shift and drag, make a copy. I can make an instance, especially if we're going to get a real complex cloud going. And then I'm going to select the two. Hold down shift and rotate. Again, for memory, we're not making changes to this, so the instance would do better. Uh, I'm going to do it one more time. Hold down shift. I'm just going to move this over and rotate. In an arbitrary way, and take a look, and we're starting to get a cloud. I'll just duplicate this one more time. And while these are selected, I'll just scoot them over a bit. And now we have a, a cloud. Uh, again, I'm making copies, but an instance would be much less memory. There we go. So this would be good for sort of a hero object, something that's right in your face. For something much further back, I wouldn't waste the memory. And that's how you make a cloud with an atmospheric apparatus.